All right, everybody, let's get this thing going. Happy Monday to you all. Thank you so much for uh, listening in today. You know, one of the things that we all suffer with in building a business like this is, is getting our feelings hurt. You know, I believe one of the most underappreciated things in our business is skinned knees. You know, everybody wants a fast, easy way to success, a simple system that they can just download and everything's figured out for them. You know, they want the answers to be given to them. They, they, they want to be spoon fed. You know, the presentation is sometimes the problem because maybe we make it sound too easy. You know, when we explain what this opportunity is all about and we explain how great it is and how simple it is, you know what? It's, you still have to go do the work, right? And when you think about human nature, most people don't want to prepare their own food or they certainly don't want to build their own house. And you know what? A lot of times people don't want to go out and grow a business. They think their downline should do it for them. In other words, they don't want to get their knees all scraped up. So let me ask you this. Do you win more from winning or losing? Now, in my case, I definitely learn more from losing. You know, when I win at something, whether it's a game or whatever, I just file it off as a good win and I go on to the next opponent. But when I lose, I scrutinize about it. I sit back and I think, okay, what could I have done differently in order to change the outcome? So I definitely learn more when I lose. And so when some when somebody tells me no about the business or you know they're just not interested, I sit back and go, okay, was it something that I said? Was it something I said? You know, do you learn more from pain or pleasure? And I think we definitely learn more from pain. You know, pain can give you skin knees, but it also gives you wisdom and knowledge and strength. You know, there are a bunch of newbies out there in our, in our industry that have never learned how to build. And I have to be careful about this because I assume people know things that they don't. You know, a lot of times I, I bring a new person into the business and I just assume that they know things, like really basic things. And these people have never been involved in this type of business before in their life. And it's like, no, they don't know. So we can't ignore the basics of our business. You know, there, there's, there's a bunch of um, things that become common sense to you, but they're not common sense to the new person. And I think you've heard me say this before, but how long do you give a baby to walk? Well, you give the baby as long as it takes, right? But the baby's going to fall down and the baby might skin his or her knees every now and then, every now and then, but they're learning how to walk, right? And now I know you don't want pain, but don't be shocked when it shows up. I don't want things to be difficult for you, but when difficulty shows up, just be ready for it. Just be ready for it. And when difficulty shows up, that is always an opportunity for you to grow, to grow. You know, just understand that difficulty just means you have an opportunity to grow and be better. Learn from the mistakes that you made. Now, I know, you know, nobody wants to make mistakes. Everybody's afraid of looking bad in front of the rest of the world, but that's how you grow. Don't be afraid to make millions of mistakes. You know, um, don't be afraid to embarrass yourself and don't be afraid to even fail. Listen, I don't want bad things to happen for you, but when they do you're going to get better and you're going to learn. You will skin your knees. You know, most people are looking for the easy way, but the easy way is not necessarily the best way. You know, that's why the lottery is so successful because people think that that's the easy way. All they have to do is pick six numbers on a Saturday night and they're going to be set for life. You know, don't water down your experience because you're afraid of scaring new associates. That's why I wrote my book. You know, my book is titled, Yes, Sometimes It Is About the Money. But in that book, it's not necessarily going to teach you how to build a network marketing business. It's going to teach you what you're going to go through in building a network marketing business. You know, tell them what it's really like to go to the top. Don't hide the hardships from them. You know, you should want them to go through the pain, um, not because you want to crush them, but because you want to make them stronger. Guys, skinned knees, growing pains, and learning from adversity. Those are the important, valuable tools. 
Don't run away from the pain. Use it.